An invasive species is living just under the surface in East Texas. This week, photos are circulating on social media showing a hammerhead worm. Savannah Hale shows us what you should look out for and why you should keep your pets and kids away from them. They're invasive, they're poisonous, and they're in East Texas. Hammerhead worms are wriggling through our soil. Just ask Shelby Baker. I definitely didn't think that I would find one, <laughs> but um, we saw one in the backyard and I thought it was just a regular worm until we looked down at it. Baker has two young kids and two dogs that love to spend time in the yard. After finding a hammerhead worm at her own house, she's concerned. My daughter actually digs for worms and roly polies every single day and I'm constantly having to tell her to be careful. I spoke to a specialist at Texas A&M AgriLife in Overton who confirmed that hammerhead worms shouldn't be touched with bare hands. They will, um, like they will make some nauseous, like the feeling, they can numb your hand or finger, that kind of, because they are the neurotoxin. But if you are handling more and more, that can be a dangerous thing. And on top of the harmful neurotoxins, they aren't good for our environment like earthworms are. So that's why uh, these worms, they are killing or they are predat predating on these uh, earthworms. So that's why they are dangerous for our ecosystem. Khan says that the best thing to do if you encounter one of these worms is to put it in a closed container with salt or vinegar and refrain from cutting it in half. If you are cutting them, you are, you are thinking like we, uh, like the, we are making it uh, dead, but it's not. You are making it a two, <laughs> actually, because from there, the cutting part, they can make a new head within 10 days. In Tyler, Savannah Hale, CBS 19. Dr. Collin also says if you see a hammerhead worm, you to report the area where you saw it and to help get a more accurate count on the species here in East Texas.